Hello out there to you. In this clip, let's do an example where we know the number of people who are employed, we know the unemployment rate, and we know the labor force participation rate. What we need to know is how many people are in the labor force, how many people are unemployed, and how big is the total working age population or the um, civilian population that we're working with. So um, important formulas that you need to know. the labor force participation rate is the labor force divided by the population times 100 and that'll give us some kind of percent okay uh, another thing that's important to know is that the unemployed uh, part of the labor force plus the employed part of the labor force has to equal well, 100 percent Okay. That also equals 1 if I depercentize these numbers, right? So if these become fractions, then this also has to equal 1, okay? So what are these fractions? Well, this is the labor, f nope, no, it's not. It is the unemployed part of the labor force divided by the labor force plus the employed part of the labor force divided by the labor force, okay? So what do we actually know? Well, this is the first part of, basically once you figure out uh, labor force, we can figure out all the rest of this. So here's how we're gonna do that. So we already know, we're given that the unemployment rate in the economy is 8% or 0 0.08. Okay, so I'm gonna use that as a number right there. We know that the number of, un or sorry, employed people is 140, uh, and a half million two hundred people I don't know the labor force I want to and that's gonna equal one okay so now I've just got one unknown I can algebraically do this okay so now this is gonna equal point nine two this will be one forty I'm just gonna abbreviate that it's that number right there divided by labor force Multiply both sides by labor force. Okay, so then those labor forces will go away. Some people will work labor forces. <laughs> okay. Um, point nine two LF or labor force. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to divide by point nine two. Okay, those will cross out. Labor force is going to equal, so it's that big number, 140, 500, 200, not times, I did it wrong, 140, 500, 200, divided by 0.92, and I get that big number there, 152 million. 152,717,000 million seven hundred and seventeen little messy number six hundred and eight and a fraction of a person awesome so um, so it's gonna be right around one fifty two seven hundred and seven thousand six hundred and eight okay how many people are unemployed uh, so now we know the labor force, so we don't know, so we'll just plug that in. So that's this formula right here. Okay, we know the labor force, we don't know the unemployed part of the labor force. So unemployed part of the labor force divided by 152 million. And I'm going to get uh, 0.08, okay, or 8%. Okay, so I'll multiply through the unemployed part of the labor force is this number times 0 0.08, which is 12.2 million. I'll just round it, that's how to do it. So 12.2 million or so. Okay, that's a lot because 8 million unemployed people, that's quite a bit. And then the size of the working age population, okay, so we're just going to, um, for this one, we now know, 
that the labor force is 152 million. So this is this one right here. So the labor force divided by the population. I don't know the population yet, but I do know that the labor force participation rate is 0.75. Okay, so uh, multiply uh, population through there. So I got 152 million divided by 0 0.75. That's a one right there. Equals the population which is 152.717.608 divided by 0 0.75 and I get 203 203.623 203.623 203.4776 203.4776 and that is the answer to that part right there. Okay, so that's how to take apart that, that kind of problem. If you end up with a unknown, um, figure out what you do know, put it in usually into this kind of an equation here, and then that'll let you extrapolate out what you don't know.